My wife's um, best friend is from the Republic of Georgia. So uh, through this friend, I ended up hearing these stories about this taxi driver. She's probably the only taxi driver, female taxi driver in that area. Um, she's sort of been a hardened woman by life. The way she carries herself, she's strong, she's tough. She, at a young age, falls in love and is gonna be thinking she's gonna marry this guy. And at the same time, her dad passes away unexpectedly. And so she's mourning the loss of her dad. And in the midst of all this, in, in bad timing, the, her boyfriend asks her to marry him. She doesn't give him an answer because she's mourning the loss of her dad. After being rejected you know, from this marriage proposal, he leaves and is never, never comes back. And she, she notices that he tracked out these muddy footprints on her, on her floor, on her carpet, and she refuses to wash any of them off. And it got me really interested in this story. I imagined, well, why does she keep them? If I was her, what, what I would keep those around for? Him? Each verse is sort of an era in her life. And it starts as this young, optimistic woman um, who is gonna get married and her life's gonna be amazing. And it kind of evolves and devolves. The name Cleopatra um, is important, I think. That's why it became the title track to the album. It, it sort of embodies this idea more than it is, this isn't this person's name. This is this idea that when we're young, we feel, I think, a lot of us like we're destined for something bigger than our small town or destined to, for greatness or something. For this person who ended up feeling like she was late for this, late for that, late for the love of her life, you know, and then she's gonna die alone, I think she started the same way we all start, which is feeling that way. And it doesn't always go according to that plan. When I talk to her, she said, you know, the two best days of my life were when I got my divorce and when I had my first, when I had my only son. And uh, it's the opposite of what I've heard almost anyone tell me about their life. I felt like the courage in confronting what your life was really like, it was so rare to hear and see. And I think that that is a big part of the song. For me, the big focus was on uh, sort of honoring that. The last verse is, it takes it into a, this idea that she's walking through, in my head, it was she was walking through a nursing home telling a nurse how great she was as a person, as a woman. She had all these dreams. You know, she was taller than the rafters. She was this force. She was Cleopatra. And I imagine the nurse kind of saying, I'm sure you were, you know? I'm sure you were, because the younger generation is always sort of, we're looking at ourselves and we think everyone else is kind of over and crazy. And I think the best way we learn from each other and actually are open to change is through telling of stories. It's not through arguments, it's not through statistics. Telling stories about, about characters. And uh, that's, Cleopatra's a character to me that you're trying to tell her story um, throughout these verses.